Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. He finds And he gets this one down to the 24. A huge play there right off the bat. 47 yards. Well, this is the reigning NFC Offensive Player of the Week. Runs like that might get him another award. Yeah, Thunderbolt right out of the gate, huh? How about that? Hitting the defense hard early. And, of course, carrying the momentum from last week into this week's game. They keep on the ground with Elliott. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. So a loss of five, and it'll be second down. A tale of two extremes. First carry, he went for a bundle. His second goes backward. And how many times have we seen that happen? Because you get that big carry, and you come back, and you're all fired up. And sometimes you force a run a little bit, right? Trying to break off that big carry again. And instead, it works opposite. Prescott to throw it. His throw cut. And he'll the take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Jeff Swain, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Cowboys take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. maneuver at the 40. He gets it across the 50 and down to the 48. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. Sometimes those lines that are drawn on a grease board or in a playbook, they come to life in, <laughs> out on the field, don't they? And we just saw that on that outside handoff to the right. That right tackle, he gets excited for that call, doesn't he? He does, because he just wants to dominate his guy and say, listen, I was the point of attack. I took care of business. That's why you're able to get downfield and add all those yards to your total. Yeah, really nice game there. A big run there, 29 yards and a first. That outside handoff to the left, that play has to warm the heart of an offensive line coach because they controlled the left side where they were supposed to, but they didn't allow anything to leak from the back side on the right side of the offensive line either. Well played. Yeah, and it created a big run. An inaugural trip to the red zone here for the Seahawks. First and 10 at the 19. First carry down for Kofani Muhammad. And they go the wrong way here. Knocked back to the 20. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Sometimes play calls boil down to philosophy. You know you're facing one of the top 10 units against the run in the NFL. So do you decide to keep smashing against them, or do you decide to throw the ball here? And they'll go with the ground attack here. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. It's a good gain of 11, sets him up first and goal. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. Watch now, Barney, Barney. They'll try and run for on first and goal. And this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. This will be a two-yard loss on the play. And it'll be second and goal. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Detroit! Detroit! Ah! They'll give it to him up the middle. And he'll fight his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Only a couple yards there, and that's going to set up a long third and goal. Partner, I know we're in a goal-to-go situation, but my goodness, think about running the ball here. Not even a thought, is yeah, it? Defensively, they're in a prime spot. And I think the defensive guys are probably expressing themselves to them as well. I wouldn't run it here, guys. You might want to try throwing it. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. 
The keeper nets him only a yard, and that's going to bring up fourth. Now I wouldn't be surprised if they go for it. Three points is not ideal. It's not what they want, but it's still only the first half. Take the three points and move on. So, yes, it's only three, but at least they're able to answer back after giving up the touchdown to start the game. Yeah, I like the observation there because getting some points on the board, very positive for them. Feel a little bit better about things because if you don't score, you potentially have opened the door for them to score again, and then you're down 14. And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. The offense for the Cowboys now working their way back onto the field. They had the touchdown on the opening drive of the ball game. It was countered by just a field goal. So, hey, if your guys can do that for four quarters, you're in good shape. Yeah, it is a team game, so that's just good complimentary football. But, you know, I know I'm no brainiac, but you trade sixes for threes, things are going to work out in your favor. They go play action here on first down. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. On second down, Elliott. And he'll get this only up to about the 35. Only a yard on the pickup there, so it leaves him needing a conversion here on third and a tough nine. Scott. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by the Pro Bowl safety cam chancellor. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. Now they told us repeatedly earlier in the week in our meetings, we need some plays from our defense here on the road early. They got one. God, God. And don't think they were God, above God. all week long pointing out to their defense that the other defense is rated higher than them. You gonna let that happen, guys? Is that how we're going to play? And they responded to the challenge. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. A very solid gain of 27. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. This is Carson. Two yards the game there, and now they're left with a third and about four for a first. He may be a bit undersized compared to the modern-day NFL defensive tackle, but what he lacks Detroit! in size, Detroit! he definitely makes up for in his ability to make tackles in the run game as well. Now they'll run it on the toss. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave them with a fourth down. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. So two first quarter field goal attempts for him, and he's converted on both. I like the positive right there. Two for two, got the points on the board. The negative side is they didn't score touchdowns. And of course, going forward in this game, that's going to be the aim, and hopefully they'll be kicking extra points instead. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. A tale of two extremes already in this game. A touchdown pass on their opening drive, followed by an interception last time out. Now, it sounds like things balance out, right? What's that, that mythological thing that we do? If you have a candy bar, have a diet soda with it, and it balances it out. 
And we know that's not really true, right? Because the interception, that sting lingers a little bit longer. Got to come out now and put together some nice plays. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down from all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. Room to run past midfield. And finally taken down at the 44-yard line. They got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets them a new set of downs. And they've got it here with a first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now a play fake here on first down. Being chased out left. Got an open man. It's Michael Gallup. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. On any given pass play, you never know exactly where your exit points are going to be. On this play, he was flushed to his left, still on the run, able to accurately throw the football for a nice first down. A first down carry by Elliott. He's able to get six, a nice pickup down to the 21. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Again, the Elliott. He'll get it inside the red zone, but only for a couple down to the 19. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. Two first-half touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys will extend their lead. Extra point good by Prater. And the lead is up to eight. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. To return it is Corey Grant. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. The Seahawks offense now, they get set to go back to work. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. You put it through the post, that's going to help him in contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him in contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. <laughs> <Toe> bash. <laughs> I don't know about that. Bash, <laughs> Super tough. <laughs> the drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Gone, gone. Gone, gone. Back to throw now on first down. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. That one goes for 24 yards. Now, they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely. Great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to Watch feed off body, that? Body. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. Looking for a crease. Can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. He makes a wonderful play there off the corner, protecting his side of the field. Oh, that reminds me of the great defenses of old, doesn't it? The Pittsburgh Steelers, Steel Curtain. They would not oh, no, let you get on the field if you could only do one thing. You had to be a complete guy, and you had to be able to tackle. Now, I know I've said this before, but you know I wasn't alive when the Steel Curtain was playing. I, I know them, but I, I just want to let you know I wasn't alive. I'm going to keep peppering that in there, and one of these days, you're going to think that you were. <laughs> 
back to throw now on second and ten. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. And just a small glimpse there as to why they like this rookie so much. And that's why they lit up a little bit in our meetings with the coaching staff, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, when we talked about him, they did. Yeah, you know, they like his work ethic. You know, this guy's running every route well in the route tree and getting better at it all the time, really honing his game. They expect a pretty good jump out of him as things continue to move on. A third field goal of the first half, not what they're looking right, for. Now, as they come six. up on let's third let's down. Let's They'll drop the throw. And he's got Lockett. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. His first catch of the game, good for 11 and a first down. He's been the forgotten man in this first half. Not a guy you want to forget. Not only his first catch, first time they've targeted him. That doesn't make any sense, does it? Not because at all. those are the types of plays that he provides. When he does come alive, when they do look his way, not only is it a big catch, it's a first down. This is Logan, and he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Two minutes to play here in the first half. We're back to Arlington right after this timeout. Second and ten. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. Call it a gain of three, and it'll be third down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. Become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And the Seahawks on third down. Just one for three thus far. This will be third and six. Looking to throw. Eluding the pressure right. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked off down at the two. And they get the football, but not much on the return here as he stopped at the seven-yard line. He's at it again, Charles. He had the pick six last week. Not a pick six here, but an interception. And it's another Oski, because that's the word we use when we intercept the pass. Oski tells your team to rally around and block for you. Well, that worked really well last week because he had made it all the way to the end zone. This week, he got the Oski, maybe not a touchdown, but boy, he's playing really well. Here's Elliott, and he'll take this one up to about the 13. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid game. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. And now the Seahawks are going to take a timeout here on defense as he'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. And on third and three, they decided to go with a dime package. Yep. Six DBs. Yeah, you're right. They've got six out there. To throw is Prescott. Buying time to his left. Cooper's got it. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A big third down conversion with a gain of 28. As a general rule, offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's going to be when he's setting up to throw the football. But sometimes they just have to get on the run, get on the move. He was able to do that on that play and picks up a first down with a nice throw. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. And that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on it at second down. Anytime a defense can sit back in a zone like that, it tends to create a lot of congestion in the middle of the field. Makes it very hard to slot one in. Looked like I-4 at rush hour in your hometown of Orlando, Florida. An absolute mess. Tim carry now for Elliott. And he'll take this one up close to about the 45. In on the stop, it was the UCF product, Shaquem Griffin. 
But we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers of reading a play. Throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. And that one drops incomplete as he got popped as he was throwing it. So on fourth down, here's Chris Jones to punt it away. He only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. The Seahawks offense now, they get ready to come back onto the field. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. You want the third quarter already? No problem. Let's do it. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. And the Seahawks get ready to trot out on the field. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up. And we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. Now, the first play of the drive there is incomplete. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. Okay. Four C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected right, passing lucky situation. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Now he's going to let it go deep back. Looking for Rocket, and it's intercepted. He's picked off just shy of midfield. And the return stops at the 39-yard line. If you combine last week and this week, he's got a hat trick going because he had two interceptions a week ago. He's seeing the ball so well and understanding where receivers are and positioning. I mean, just watching him work with such great technique and paying it off by actually catching the ball when he has a chance. He's helping his team in a huge way. They'll run with Elliott. And he'll yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. Prescott now on second down. Escaping the pressure right. Try to get it to Williams, but it's intercepted. Shaquille Griffin with a pick. And the return out shy of midfield with a 46-yard line. Just a little bit of a rough stretch. Six interceptions now in these last two weeks combined. I know the easy thing is to go back to mechanics, footwork, things of that nature. I'm also wondering, is he getting fooled by what he's seeing on defense? Has the scouting report changed? Are they showing him things different than what he expected? For the second week in a row, he's throwing it to the guys in the wrong color shirts. Yeah, he better figure whatever the reason is. He better figure it out. And all the way down to the 10-yard line. It's a big play there for Seattle. 44 yards. Three red zone trips have yielded just two field goals for them to this point, so they'll be searching for something more on second and goal here. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. And only about a yard there as he takes it from the nine to the eight. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle. Keep coming after them. Put the pressure on them. He'll get it up the middle. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. 
Corey Grant, his fourth touchdown Detroit, of the year. Detroit. And the Seahawks, a two-point conversion away Detroit, from tying the Detroit. game. Back to throw here. Forced out to it, and he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. They made the decision to go for two. They didn't get it. They remained down by two points. Should they have kicked it there? A third quarter, I'm okay with it. Maybe first or second, you don't. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, I'm, I'm, again, I keep coming back to I don't like to chase a lot of points. Yeah. But I also don't know what kicking an extra point being down one does for me. So out come the Cowboys now as their offense gets set to take over. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive? Or no, you just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense mm, at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. They go to Elliott again. And there is nowhere for him to cut back as he's taken down in the backfield. He lost two there, and it's third down. I know they've got to be careful not to go to the well too often, but it's a fine line, isn't it? Because sometimes, if you've got success, you want to just keep pounding away. But no success there. They rallied quickly on the defensive end. Third and long for Prescott. Looking deep in the direction of Cooper. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off at about the 31. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. That is now seven. Seven interceptions between last week and this week. Three in this game, four a week ago. And I saw the head coach write on his play sheet, make a little note. I hope he's writing self-scout. Bring in the guys that scout games for you with a different eye and watch it and see what's going on and maybe they can pick up what the flaws are and hopefully they can correct them. Give him three on the play and that'll make it a second down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. That first down completion only netted him three. No, 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 no. Second Jack, and seven. Patriot, Patriot. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's across the 43 extra yards to the 43. That's going to be a six-yard gain. It leaves him with third down and just a yard to go. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. And the Seahawks on third down. Just one for five to this point. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. And on the ground they go with a running back. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. They'll look to throw now on first down. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Seven yards on the play, and it'll make it second down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. They run with Logan. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Over, 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 over! They'll run it. This is Muhammad. Taking it right down Broadway. And all the way in, touchdown Seattle. Right for six. Well, partner, that was another explosive run. And one thing I've learned in our time in this game, 
Yes, the offensive line has to get a lot of credit, but for big runs to occur, the wide receivers have to block well downfield. And then you have to have a good guy carrying the ball too, right? Oh, without a doubt, you need that difference maker lugging the rock. That'll be taken in the end zone. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. All right, guys, you had your fun? All right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. I don't think any of us were surprised that they decided to start this drive on the ground after the last two drives ended in interceptions. Unfortunately, though, not a lot going on on that first play. Yeah, I think the anticipation was felt also by the defense. Second down, Prescott. On the left side, Gallup's got it. And he is down deep into Seattle territory. A big play there on the catch and run. 57 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. The give is to Elliott, and he is going to lose yardage here. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. which is great because they scored the points, but then their defense has to come right back out on the... The defense is saying, okay, that's cool, but let's not make it a habit. We need to get some rest sometime. So they make the decision. They want a three-point lead versus a two-point lead, and they got it. Yeah, at this stage of the game, it seems like the exact right thing to do. Put a little pressure on your defense, but the biggest thing now is you're making the other team chase you. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Seattle offense now set to come back out on the field. And now last drive so successful with the ground game, ending in a touchdown. Do you stick with that formula? That would be the number one thing you would think of. But so many guys now would look at it and say, we've got them set up so well for play action. Now's the time to take a shot. Yeah. But, you know, Detroit! there was a big-time coach in the state of Ohio who once said, <laughs> if you throw the ball, if you put it in the air, Three things can happen, and two of them are bad. <laughs> so he would have it on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> and he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Well, forget about finding a lane there. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Probably fortunate he was able to hold on to the football. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Now they'll run it on the toss. Dancing away at the 30. And he'll work his way across the 30 to the 32. Eight yards there on the carry, and now they're left with a much more manageable third and three. And the Seahawks on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. Here it's third and three. They'll set up a throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. And they'll go on the ground. And not much room to operate as he'll get this up only to about the 41. Credit the tackle there to Jordan Lewis. 
This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. throw to me. I didn't see anything open. And this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass incomplete. And the Seahawks on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This is third and nine. And now whistles and a flag. And I think we got a jump here. So a jump there defensively. That's a killer. Watch the football. Don't move across the line of scrimmage until the ball moves. So that last penalty making this third down Watch much more manageable. Body. Third down, four yards to go. Ah. They'll run it now out of the gun. And a minimal gain here as he's up to about the 47-yard line. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. Well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stopped them for almost no game. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Flushed out right. This complete to Lockett. And all the way in, touch. And the Seahawks have taken the lead here in the fourth. Extra point hugged the upright a bit, but he gets it to go. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Now it's Wilson. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. On first and 10, Prescott. Throw right side, complete to Williams. No gain there on the completion, second and 10. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and 10. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. And that is incomplete. I want to go back to something you said in the first quarter. About is, it, winning. Is, is it a positive? It is a positive. Okay. About winning the turnover battle. As a visiting <laughs> team, as an underdog, you were right. They've done just that, and look where it's gotten them. It's part of the formula. When you go on the road, as you mentioned, being an underdog, winning the turnover battle is a big key, and this one's playing out in this one. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. Prescott down. And he's able to hook up with Michael Gallup. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A gain of 12 on fourth and 10, just enough for the conversion. And defensively, an opportunity slips away. Prescott now. A perfect eight for eight to start the second half. Not bad. First and ten. 
They go back to Elliott. He's been busy. Looking for an opening. Not much there. He'll get it to the 39. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Here's Prescott. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Well, this at least is the right idea. I think they've got to get the tight end more involved. He had just one target in the first half, incomplete. Now incomplete here with the first target in the second half. Yeah, should not stop them at all from going back to him, though. Find him. Find him. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Here's Prescott. Flush to his right. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off right around the 43. And his guys will take over at their own 44-yard line. Yet another interception, and I just had to double-check my math. But it is now eight between last week and this week. Well, I just used the calculator. I didn't worry about double-checking it. But the thing that always throws me when you see quarterbacks in this type of a bad spot, they're trying to figure out what they can do to change it, and sometimes they try too hard, and they never get out of it. And that's where he is right now. He's just locked in in a really bad way. Time for a break. We'll come back, see what transpires after this. I have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. They'll run it now out of the gun. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. Well, this is a big Detroit. third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Detroit! Detroit! On 30, nearly the pick they needed. They would have loved one there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. I think he's taking an awful chance with the football right there. You've got a lead. You've got to protect it. And he's taking chances, putting it out there in a little bit of jeopardy. Especially in a spot like this, fourth quarter, as you said, trying to cling to that advantage. Yeah, that one probably should have been picked, huh? And now Dallas gets set to take the field. Success, 19 yards. Some room at midfield. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. All right, partner, I'm a defender, but I've got to express my admiration there. Moving around, making it happen, and instead of worrying about protecting himself, he goes and gets the first down. I've got to give it to him on that one. Normally, you don't want your guy taking shots, your quarterback, but it's winning time here in the fourth quarter. If he needs to make those plays with the legs, go ahead, right? Yeah, no doubt about it. It's, at this stage of the game, all protections, they're off. This is Elliott. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. 
They yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. The Cowboys looking to get going again in a hurry. Again, it's Elliott. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. First down now, but that clock rolling. He's back to throw, fighting through pressure, eluding the pressure right. He's going to let it fly, and this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. Late game, that hurts. Take the touchdown off the board. Movie scene, right? Go in, rally the team. Okay, we lost points there. Let's get it back and go out and score again. Can he get it done? Back to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this is incomplete with a clock showing just three seconds left. Cooper again the target, and it's third down. Now one more shot at it. Obviously, again, they've got to go for the end zone. Well, we've seen it happen before. How about Aaron Rodgers throughout his career? He seems to pull it off about every other week. But if I'm the defense, I'm rushing the quarterback and making him move away from his throwing arm. That makes it a little bit tougher to get it downfield. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. One last shot now for Prescott. Escaping the pressure right. He's going to let it fly. And this is intercepted, but they'll say out of bounds. So very close to a turnover there in the end zone. 